In this section, we're going to be looking at settings. Settings is an icon that's available on your home screen, and through this app, you're able to modify different settings that are available throughout your, throughout your device, whether it be turning Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on and off, um, setting the brightness of your screen and things of that nature, this is where you would control them. We're gonna take a look at this window and see the different options that are available and we'll also see how the window or the screen itself functions. So I'm gonna find the settings icon on my home screen and double tap to activate it. At photos, camera, settings. Double tap to open. Settings. A few things to note about the settings screen. On the left third of the screen, you have something that is akin to a navigation bar. So here are all the items or all the sections of the settings screen that, that are available to you. And as you cycle through each of these lists, which I'll do in a second, and when you select one, the main content area, which is the right two thirds of the screen, changes to reflect the option that was selected on the left side. So the way to think about it is that the left side is kind of your control panel, the right side is your main content area, that's where you, that's where you do all the pertinent work or things that you need to handle when you're in this area. So let's just look at what's available or what options are available in the settings screen. And there's over a dozen options that are available here. While they are definitely important and you should take the time to explore them. We're not going to go through each item in depth in this video because we'd probably be here till next week. So Settings. Heading. Airplane mode. Off. Wi-Fi. Not connected. Button. Notifications. Button. Location services. On. But brightness and wallpaper. Button. Picture frame. Button. Selected. General. Button. So you might have heard that with some of the items that voiceover announced, it also gives you the status. So airplane mode, that's where you can turn the emitters or the signal receivers from the device on and off so that when you're in an airplane, it's not giving off any signals that could interfere with the functioning of your airplane. And so it tells me that airplane mode is off. And if it was on, it would say that it was on. Another thing that it told me is when I got to the general setting, it told me that that's what was selected. So I can, I'm going to repeat that. Selected. General. It said selected general. What's displayed right now on the right two thirds of my screen is the general setting screen. So I'm going to just kind of change the different settings just so that the screen can change a little bit. Look, brightness and wallpaper. So let, button. Let's say I wanted to change the brightness and on my screen. So I'm going to double tap on brightness and wallpaper on the left side. Selected. Screen brightness. 50%. Adjustable. And what ends up happening is voiceover jumps focus to the center part of the screen or to the brightness screen itself. And it told me that brightness was set at 50%. And if I wanted to change it, I can go to that. Uh, screen brightness. 50%. Adjustable. Swipe up or down to adjust the value. Right, I can swipe up or down to adjust the value. So if I swipe up with one finger while I'm on this little scroll area, 60%. It goes to 60%. If I want to decrease it back to 50, I can swipe back down with one finger. 50%. Okay, so that kind of gives you a little sense of how to move around this particular screen. What we're going to go into next is the general settings screen, which is the screen that we're more involved with or the screen that's mostly the one that we're going to be using. Because here's where we get to look at things like Bluetooth, software updates, and especially the accessibility window where we can set different options and customize how the accessibility features built into the iPad work for us. Okay, so I'm going to go to general. A cloud. Make general. Button. Selected. G about. Button. Okay, so as I tap general, again, voiceover's focus jumped to the center part of the screen, and the first option that's available under general settings is about, which tells me about what is the current status of my device, like how much music do I have on here, how many videos, how many apps and things of that nature, how much free space is on here. And it gives me a lot of information. We're not going to go into each of these applications, but I want to just kind of take a quick skim of what's available on this window. So about is the first one. Software update button. Software update. Usage button. Usage, which gives you information about what you've used the device for and how much data and stuff uh, have, has been used. Sounds button. Sounds allows you to customize sounds. Network 
Button. Network gives you information on the network that you're connected to or using. Bluetooth on button. Bluetooth is a window that we'll, we'll actually explore in a later video, but here Bluetooth is turned on and we're going to look at how we connect a Bluetooth device to our iPad. iTunes Wi-Fi Sync button. Wi-Fi Sync. So you can sync your device to your computer without having to connect it with a cable if both of the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi server and are using the same Apple ID. Spotlight Search. Spotlight Search is a page that's available that searches the iPad for specific files or words or things like that. And here's where you get to determine in what order it looks at specific areas. So is it going to start looking in music when you type something or is it going to start looking in notes or email first? So you get to distinguish the order for that. Auto lock. Two minutes. Button. With auto lock, you can set what the time is allowed before the device shuts down without being touched. Passcode lock. Off. Button. Passcode lock allows you to set a password so that you can that only you have access to your device iPad cover lock slash unlock on okay and then here's Double some tap to toggle set great here's some additional features like right now I have it set to on this is allows my cover to act as the lock or unlock mechanism so instead of me having to find the unlock button and double tap on it all I have to do is lift the smart cover off the face of the device and it unlocks and then when I replace the cover it locks the screen again Automatically lock and unlock your iPad when you close and open the iPad cover. Well, there you go. Restrictions. Off button. Okay, restrictions, obviously, for age-appropriate material um, in case you have younger people who are using your device. Use side switch to heading. Okay, and here's where you can customize what the side switch does. This is the button, or the switch rather, that's located right above your volume control. And you can either have it set to, um, to mute or unmute sounds, or you can have it set to lock the virtual orientation of your screen. Lock rotation. Okay. Selected. Mute. Great. Multitasking gestures. On. Okay. Multi Double tap to toggle <laughs> setting. Multitasking gestures allows you to use hand gestures that involve four or five fingers so that it gives you different access to different types of hand gestures. Bullet swipe up to review multitasking bar. Good. Bullet swipe left or right between apps. Bullet pinch to the home screen. Okay, and these are all the things that this do this feature does if it's turned on. Use for our five fingers too. Date and time button. Keyboard button. Okay, we have date and time and keyboard. International button. International, if I wanted to set an international keyboard or change the language of my device. So if, if I spoke another language or I have somebody in my family who can use it with another language, I can reset it to that. Accessibility. Button. Accessibility, which is where we customize the way the assistive technology on the iPad works. And we'll be looking at that in greater depth in a different video. FaceTime button. International but access reset button. And reset is where you can reset the device to factory standards so that you can kind of start all over again if it starts acting a little funny. Now you may have noticed as I was moving through some of these options that often my focus got changed to the left side of the screen or you, you heard the word FaceTime when I was looking at my general settings list. The reason for that is the iPad is extremely sensitive so if my finger didn't move fast enough, then it thought that I was trying to move focus over to that part of the screen. So as you may have been doing all along, just be very sensitive or very careful about what parts of your hand are making contact with the screen and the speed at which your hands are making contact with the screen. That's the last item under general options. We'll be exploring some of the features under general options in more detail, but I do urge you to take the time to explore each of these settings so that you can see what your iPad can really do for you.